not just getting it wrong. I can just never remember where we are. It just keeps giving. What she said. So we're running as fast as we can. And we gotta get we gotta get a Jimmy Riddle on. You can take dogs into Lapa Valley. Charlie can go on everything, even the pedalos. Go away, Charlie. Last week we left you with a stunning sunset at Traianan Bay. This week, join our race against the fading daylight as we attempt to visit the other six bays of St Meron. We're at Trathias Farm. Now, we're going on an adventure today to discover the coastline. And Nikki is concerned. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki is concerned. She keeps getting place names wrong. So today, she's doing her homework. Well, actually, it's not just getting it wrong. I can just never remember where we are. <laughs> so, today, you're going to get 100% accurate information all day from Nikki. So, we're in the Seven Bays region of St Mirren, which includes from west to, west to east, Porth Cothan, Porth, Porth Coffin Bay, Traianan Bay, Constantine Bay, Boobies Bay, Mother Ivy's Bay, Harlan Bay and Travone Bay and we've been highlighting where we've been going, where we've run, where we've walked. So I'm going to take this with us today and my glasses. <laughs> Yes, apologies to the Cornish, although Nikki well, actually, is Cornish. No, no, actually I am Cornish, yes. I was born in Penzance, so um, yeah. Here's a gate to the southwest coast path. We are in heaven. This is Warren Cove. Isn't it spectacular? I'm hoping hoping that the GoPro has captured the colour of the water. So, so this is Pepper Cove, I've remembered. <laughs> One of the things that we're looking for today, um, which is a bit of a highlight as well, is that this bay, which is Traianan, Bay has a rock pool which is a very large tidal sea pool. Nikki has uh, <laughs> got her homework out. I had to get the map out again. I just we just can't retain anything. Traianan rock pool, but it's absolutely stunning. It's um, yeah, the coast path just never ceases to amaze us, does it? So in front we've got Constantine Bay and then followed behind by Boobies Bay and Constantine Bay that we're coming up to and I think Booby Bay as well. It's all dog friendly so all year round which is an absolute bonus for us. So this is Boobies Bay, isn't it? Beautiful. So, as ever, we're having a dip. Um, this beach is lifeguarded, and we don't know anything about the sea here. And people die on this coast every year, so we're just going in between the flags. Although we're not swim swimmy, we're just going in between the flags where it's lifeguarded, and we're going to take it in turns because little old Charlie doesn't want to go in. St Merrin's Seven Bays, we felt we deserved our picnic in this special place. We even wrote our name in the sand to celebrate. Oh, on camera, so <laughs> we did have we did have quite a, a windy tea, to be fair to Nicky. Eh? Nicky's uh, we did three of Nikki's seven bays of St Mirren today and this evening we're going to the fourth oh. for sunset and hopefully do the other three tomorrow. It just keeps giving. 
just every corner you turn, it's just wow. So we've um, made it to bay number four, Port Cothan, which is down there. We're not going to go all the way down to the bay because we're going to miss sunset otherwise. So we're going to turn around and at least we've shown you how beautiful it is. It's absolutely stunning. An absolute treat. Yeah, amazing. We don't, we don't normally run at this time of night, do we? we? It's absolutely pooped. <laughs> We've walked, we swam, and I went back and had another swim, didn't I? So, you did. Yeah, this is just, well, it's a treat, isn't it? We've located the rock pool, a um, little bit of a mission. We've got peace of mind though as well. The lifeguards are ready. So Nikki promised you, our faithful YouTube followers, <laughs> that while we were here, we would see all seven bays of St. Marin. And uh, it's currently eight o'clock in the evening. And so far, we've only seen four. <laughs> we'll take you on this little sunset saunter. See if we can see the other three. So we've just arrived at Mother Ivy's Bay. As you can see, it's beautiful here. Can't stop now, though. We're coming up to bay number six, and uh, we're going to be racing against the clock to get to bay number seven. Kev's just told me he's forgotten the head torches. Yeah, keep watching to see if we get to bay number seven. I forgot to say, in all the excitement of getting to bay number six, this is Harlan Bay. It looks like another beautiful bay. I'm just saying, I hope it is Harlem Bay after I said all that. If it's not, that's what we're calling it. Oh, wow. You're getting the Jamaica vibes here. Yeah, it's really nice. It's lovely. I just got a feeling that sunset's going to happen before the end of this run. Bay <laughs> is the other side of those houses. Oh, no. We gotta get a Jimmy Riddle on. <laughs> Can you talk or shall I talk? You talk. I'll talk. I can't, I can't. I can't talk. So we're as fast as we can. A relatively <laughs> disturbed night's sleep last night. We left the bleeding horn yard. So I had to get up in the middle of the night and take it down because the wing got up, as you might be able to hear. But obviously, because we got so little sleep, we decided, Nikki decided to go for a 30 something mile bike ride this morning. And I went for a nine mile run. I don't know what van life's doing to us. <laughs> Travone Bay. We made it. Bay number seven. The bays of St Mirren, around St Mirren, haven't disappointed. And, uh, you know, if you're thinking about going on holiday, I would seriously suggest you pack your trunks and you come here and visit these seven bays. If you've liked this video, 
and you followed our journey on the base, give us a big thumbs up. What she said. I know we're in a hurry and I know it's actually closed but look at this beach box cafe at Harlem Bay we are following a route that we plotted we think I think we got our uh, knack for finding interesting new places to run back Nikki I think so Boom. So the sun's gone. Look, we're still in time for sunset. Back at Trianon Bay. Which uh, Nelly's Park, just on the top there. And this is where we started. We just got to go up those steps. Go around around the headland. And uh, it looks like we're going to make it back without any catastrophe. Oh, I haven't got that yet. Have we? Oh, I'll bloody love you. I love you too. Come on, I don't mind telling the world. Oh. <laughs> I'm absolutely pooped, I am. Oh. Oh, quite sad to be leaving here, aren't you? Very. Yeah, yeah. I am. Yeah, we've. Oh, haven't we packed the time in here? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know, we've got up this morning, we're absolutely exhausted. We're off to... <laughs> we're off to Lapa Valley, um, near Newquay. It's our little grandson's second birthday, so um, my daughter and son-in-law are driving down um, to meet us. So yeah, that's quite exciting and apparently, um, I phoned up yesterday just to double check, there's no height barrier. So there'll be oh, no yeah. gripe from Kevin. <laughs> and you can take dogs into Lapa Valley and Charlie can go on everything, even the pedalos. It's interesting that you also start all your faces <laughs> to camera with the word so. Because um, everywhere we go, I try and buy a postcard for the two youngest grandchildren. And son Ollie, he doesn't call them postcards, they're, they're picture cards but it's really difficult to try and get postcards i have to say we have struggled a bit haven't we we have yeah, yeah. yeah they're not a thing anymore no. If you've enjoyed this week's adventures, please consider subscribing to our channel. Give this film the big thumbs up and a share with your friends. Join us next week. Can you guess where? Here's a couple of clues. It's where ABBA won the Eurovision Sing Song Contest. It's considered the green capital of Britain and has a cool network of narrow streets boasting 400 independent shops and cafes. So he's got his buggy and his fan and his water. 
and loving parents, isn't he? And what is the thing we do on the spur of the moment which at least one of us has never done before? So we were trying to think of something to mark our time in... We're about 11 weeks into living in the van. We're living on the road, even though we're in a you know, big campsite. It does feel like well, we are actually living on the road. In the combination of the spirit of things we've never done before, and it's yeah. the spirit of adventure, isn't it? It definitely yeah. is. <laughs> but if our viewers want to know what it is, what have they got to do? You've got to watch to the end. 